pumpkin head! Alright, I'm ready for the three-way. <laughs> Lewis, Love Hog, Linkara, everybody. Surprise, it was me the whole time. <laughs> You're all blurry, Lewis. Am I? Yeah. Either you're blurry or I'm really drunk. <laughs> I am. Possibly I'm blurry. Here, let me give me a second here. This is the first time I've actually set up the uh, webcam since I moved. Yes, you have too much stuff. Is, is this better? I can't really That's tell. a little better, yeah. Hello, dude. Look at us. Gotten the band back together. Woo! <laughs> there's a Matthew. There's a Lewis. There's us. <laughs> we were just in you were just in Chicago too, so that makes sense. Um, how you doing, man? I'm doing just fine. As you can tell, I'm kind of in the Halloween spirit right now. <laughs> Editing long box, just released my new episode. You so it which I of course worked on all night because I have not the only time this month that I have gotten an episode out where I did not work all night, you know, spent all night working on it, was uh, the Pride of the X-Men review, and that's only because I got it done with early for a convention. And I'll note, I, I want to thank you for this, you actually turned on your microphone tonight. Thank you very much. That That is much appreciated. Is I certainly hope it's... Uh, uh, God bless it. <laughs> <laughs> Never gonna live this down. Vega's still, still poking me about it. <laughs> She, I, I did not know your name was so long. Is it that was an interesting fact I found out watching that vlog? Your name is really long, Lewis. Also, uh, you know, I just kind of add on to it over time. <laughs> it's like with Phalus and to boldly flee, we just had to keep adding honorifics. Uh -huh. Well, we are. Uh, it is 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 we have a collection this week, and holy crap. You said uh, you're sending them over Twitter DMs yep. this time as opposed to Skype chat window. Yep. Just waiting uh, for the first one to come in. <laughs> Incoming! Like little parcels of awful. But let's get the intro going. Each week, Catherine, the Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring it back here for a little segment we like to call... What the fuck is wrong with you? And crazy. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm crazy for feeling. You know, I'm saying I'm easing you into this, but with all the talk of the three-way, that's probably bad phrasing. Um, <laughs> gonna be bringing you into some sort of standard. What the fuck is wrong with you, fair? Because nothing says what the fuck is wrong with you like a good old-fashioned naked rampage. Oh yeah, we're we're getting off to a. Uh, this one comes to us from Tennessee. Naked man drives wrong way on the highway, tries to kiss officer and claims God gave him acid. <laughs> a naked man was arrested late Friday morning after driving the wrong way on Highway 111 in Hamilton County and causing a crash. The man, Dennis Nixon, also told an officer he loved her and tried to give her a kiss. Nixon admitted to taking acid and said God gave him the acid because God wanted him to be free. However, the charges that Nixon gathered during the incident indicate that he might not be free for a while. Nixon is facing three charges of aggravated assault and charges of felony reckless endangerment, driving under the influence, felony vandalism, driving the wrong way, and indecent exposure. So what I'd say- was naked, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Is that apparently God is this guy's drug dealer? Well, I'm gonna say God apparent God is a lot, you know, uh, 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 you know, unlawful as than I I expected him to be. It's a yeah. take on the burning bush. <laughs> you ever notice these days when God tells somebody to do something, it's normally just a really dick thing for them to do. It's not like lead the children out of Egypt. It's not like you know, um. Uh, the fishes and loaves. No, no, it's take a bunch of acid and drive the wrong way on the highway. It'll be awesome. Well, here's 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 the thing. You know, God said that he would never do the flood again <laughs> in order to, you know, wipe the slate clean. But And because he made that promise, he's like, okay, 
How can I weed out the stupid people now? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to give them asset. <laughs> he's like going one at a time now. He's micromanaging. He's a trolling um, god. That's what he is. Three. He, he's a, he he he's timeless. He has infinite patience. Uh, three witnesses said Nixon swerved into traffic going the wrong way and matched their lane changes as their vehicles neared each other. He is suspected of driving at speeds of over 90 miles an hour. Um, his vehicle collided with uh, Regina Carson's 2008 Dodge Avenger. Very specific. Someone's trying to fill out their word count. Uh, Carson declined to be taken to hospital. When deputies arrived on the scene, Nixon was being restrained by numerous bystanders. So that's always fun. When a naked guy is running down the highway, causing all sorts of chaos, and you have to get out your car, go over, and hold the fucker down. That's something you wanted to do with your day. See, what's, what's more impressive to me is the fact that he survived. You going 90 miles an hour and crash, I'm assuming, headlong into another car. Yeah, he's, he's apparently fine. This is why seatbelts are important, kids. <laughs> yeah, if you're going to be doing acid because God told you to, remember, buckle up. You might not need any clothes, but buckle up. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Wonder how that, how that must have felt for him. Can can you get whiplash in your dick? Is that a possibility? Well, it's all flopping. I'd around rather anyway. not find out. Yeah, that's that's not. I I'm just convinced that that all these people say God let me told me to do this. God made me do this. God is just hanging out up in heaven with like Saint Peter and shit. And he's like, hey, Saint Peter, come watch this. Come watch this shit. Look, look what I'm gonna do. Look what I'm gonna do. Look what I'm gonna do. And St. Peter's like, God, are you are we really doing this shit again? Yeah! Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. Watch this. It's hilarious. Yeah, you know, there are angels for like every single thing under the sun. I've got to imagine there's an angel of pranking. <laughs> <laughs> if not an angel, there's a saint. Did you know there's a saint of depression? Yeah, he's supposed to like fight against depression. Yeah, I, there's a patron saint of depression. How is I, I don't even know this shit. Hmm. Anyway. We have more stuff. So, okay, and this, hey, th this this one's kind of just for you, Lewis. It's um, a uh, microphone, didn't it? No. Don't put a microphone up their butt or something. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, this has actually been a phenomenon that's been going around in various parts of the country. This weird fucking thing going on. Apparently, people are dressing up as clowns and just menacing people. Yeah, I've heard about this, which is really kind of depressing, considering the entire reason I created Bafo was because I was trying to fight against, you know, the negative images of clowns. Well, apparently that the, the, the clown culture has devolved into something a bit more dark. There's like people dressing up as clowns and hanging out in the woods and trying to entice small children to come play with them. Yeah, there's one that was hanging out in a drain that was uh, telling kids that they were floats at one point. <laughs> Well, this is so all of that's going on. And one person thought, hey, you know what? I could use this to my advantage. And they did it the stupid way, because, of course, they did. Let me give this over to you, because, of course, they did. All right, let's see this. Woman made up clown attack because she was running late for work. Oh, reading. You know what the sad thing is? Hmm. I can buy it. Do you <laughs> because that because the thing is, the more absurd it sounds, the more likely it is. I mean, you can you can, you know, uh, uh, make up to like I was sick or oh there was traffic, but but you you say something like I was attacked by a clown. <laughs> they're gonna buy that. <laughs> you can clown, go. Clown ate me homework. <laughs> so it's it's a bit like go big or go home on this one. Um, reading Ohio, a woman made up a report that she was attacked by a clown with a knife because she was running late to her job at McDonald's. Alexandra Conley, 18, of Hamilton, called police around 6 a.m. Saturday saying a clown jumped over a fence, waved a knife at her, and cut her left thumb. Conley described the suspect as a, a male wearing a clown suit with a red wig, white facial makeup, and a teardrop on his left cheek. Police say Conley was calm as she was being examined by medics, even used her cell phone to ask, access Facebook. After an in-depth investigation, police found several inconsistencies in her report. Conley admitted to making up the story, police said, because she was running late to work and didn't want to lose her job. Well, you know what's going to happen now? 
you're going to go to jail and be much more late for work and you're going to lose job. Because what, see, if you tell the police something about a crime that wasn't true, it's a crime. You idiot. Why did she even do the police report? Why did she just admit it, admit to her boss, uh, just, just say to her boss, us, the clown story? I mean, she, and she can claim later on that the police, that she told the police. She doesn't have to, you know, actually go to the police. Well, not only that, she also cut herself for this one. So she's going all method on this one. <laughs> Well, if you well, if you say well, yeah, actually, that yeah, she actually created that for her story when she could have just like said he swung at me but missed. No, no, she had to go for the plausibility. She was going, she was going doing the full Dustin Hoffman on this one. I just it, I it's, yeah. She okay. She she gets points because she obviously planned this shit. And, you know, I'm cool for the scripting. You went for the knife. You what you call in the cops. Cool for that. However, you only you did not plan for the after you did not plan for what happens when the cops have to, like, ask questions and shit. Turns out she was staying out late because uh, she was watching a Killjoy movie marathon. And that's how she came up with this whole idea. Uh -huh. <laughs> Here's what now. Now here's the big inconsistency that 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 got her caught. She said that it had a teardrop makeup, which is you know the common gang sign to indicate that that the clown had killed before. But no, clowns actually don't use a teardrop. They use a slightly bigger nose. <laughs> so if you it's see increase every single time. <laughs> just I'm imagining clowns in prison with like noses just dragging on the ground. They're so fucking big. Don't mess with him, man. Don't fucking mess with him. He just walks by. Ha, 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 ha. Don't don't fuck with him. No, no. <laughs> I just it, this whole clown thing is just weird as shit. Where did this? What is happening? They all float. What I love, of course, is that the news story has like a de has that default uh, uh, image on Twitter uh, on the Twitter direct message you sent me. And so, of course, they've chose the most terrifying eyeless clown they could pick, even though there was no clown. <laughs> you know, if we want to talk about balance in media, why didn't they get like an actual clown on there? Get like get like you know a real clown to say we don't do we we don't support this we don't do this. You know, oh God, I'm, sorry, I'm just having this image in my head of an actual like news report, like an interview with a professional clown who's in full makeup. That's not what our league is all about. Thank you very much. Honk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. This next one. This is. There are times when I think porn just can't get any creepier. And we have seen all sorts of shit on the show. I don't I don't know if you guys missed the bit where Tara discovered was it me or Tara? someone sent it to us, but Tara was like, oh yeah, I've seen that. The egg laying proboscis dildo. Yeah, yeah, I've heard I've I've heard of that. People have fetishes, I'm not gonna judge. It's weird to me, but whatever. Well, this is Obviously that, there's a market. This is actually crossing that creepy privacy line in in this way that's just like I, I I my gut instinct is telling me I don't feel good about this. I'll give you the story. This is from Gizmodo. Um facial recognition software lets you find a cam girl who looks just like your crush. <laughs> Megacams.me, a site that touts itself as a live sex search engine, has just introduced its latest feature, a search function that lets you upload pictures of your crush to find cam girls that look just like her. The site uses facial recognition software to make the match. This way, the porn site explains, it feels like you are having live sex with the person in your picture. No. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so which I suppose See, I suppose if I was if, if I was trying to put a positive spin on this 
<laughs> oh, you're just Mr. Sunshine tonight, huh? A lot more Mountain Dew. <laughs> <laughs> this feels like a feature that that it that should only be applied to people that have restraining orders. <laughs> I mean, yeah, at the thing, I suppose it's better than having them be creepy stalkers who like, you know, take secret photos of them all the time and like stalk them to get you know, stalk them like outside their window to try to get naked photos of them. But at the same time <sighs> Yeah, this is all something mean, you're taking Obviously, you have to get the picture somewhere. Either you have to confront the person you want to spank to and get a picture yeah. of them. I or, didn't even think of that. Or you have to go through their Facebook or social media feeds, take one of their pictures, which isn't yours because you didn't take it, upload it to another site, which then becomes part of their database because it doesn't say what they're doing with these pictures that get uploaded. And it gets used to find someone... Who looks like, yeah, and just from the perspective of the of of the uh, uh, the uh, the supposed customer here, there are a lot of fetish cam girls out there. I'm sure. I don't know from personal experience, mm. but I have to assume that there are various different things that they do, including the aforementioned egg probos proboscis thing. Uh. So what? So what happens if if? Okay, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a cam girl who who looks like this, but it turns out they're into some weird stuff. <laughs> Surprise! People in the show. Yeah, this is this is some black mirror shit. This is this yeah. is it's like every day on the internet these days, I'm like, is this real or a black mirror plot? Although what I'm thinking of doing with this, I'm tempted to go there and just start uploading random Star Wars pictures. <laughs> like, you know. Like uh, pictures of, of of guys from like the cantina scene, just all sorts of the random motherfuckers. Like that that weird three eyed thing with the long tube for a mouth. Find me salacious crumb. Yeah, find like, yeah, like I am gonna upload this picture of Kit Fisto and see what I. <laughs> <laughs> I want I want to jerk off to a girl who looks just like Greedo. That's that's <laughs> that's my dream. That's my dream. And what, what do you do for like ones that, that <laughs> and of course this assumes the facial recognition will actually recognize the face because as we've seen even with modern facial recognition software it'll pick up any random thing as a face <laughs> so oh goody i get to have this th this cam girl who looks like my wall huh <laughs> i love lab <laughs> <laughs> oh man now i'm thinking of people who like they see the face of jesus in a piece of toast Take a picture of the piece of toast <laughs> and, a, yeah. and just see if the the internet just collapses on itself trying to figure that shit out. I think the AI is going to be like, all right, y'all, you know what? I'm done. I'm, you all too weird for me at this point. I'm done. I just, I don't, what, my cat has like said, fuck all of this at this point. He, he wants no part of this shit. The, the fact that your cat like hangs around for any of these shows is pretty impressive, sir. Yeah. <laughs> oh... This, you know, when I first saw this story, I I thought, didn't we already do this one? No, this is one of those in our it happened again categories. And they got us, they don't learn. They don't fucking learn. Oh dear, what do we got this time? No, this, and for everybody going, didn't we do this story? No, this is a new story from Florida, of course. Police say, uh, challenge accepted to Tampa man's catch me if you can Facebook post. Tampa, Florida, 24 year old Tampa man wanted on numerous criminal charges was in jail Wednesday after making a Facebook post <laughs> daring investigators to find him. Cameron Cox was wanted on charges of dealing in stolen property, two counts of giving false information to a pawn, on a pawnbroker form, three counts of burglary, grand theft, and petty theft. According, apparently knowing the police were looking for him so far unsuccessfully, Cox pulled out all the stops and made a post on his public Facebook page. He posted the cover photo for the Tom Hanks, Leonardo DiCaprio movie, Catch Me If You Can, with the caption, quote, fuck it. Might as well have some fun with this. Lol. 
Challenge accepted, the Tampa Police Department wrote on its Facebook page. See, I don't know if he actually saw that movie, but uh, uh, spoiler alert, DiCaprio gets caught at the end. <laughs> if you put it on Facebook, it tracks your IP, it tracks your location. Facebook knows when you poop, for Christ's sake. Hell, Facebook knows where you poop. It's kind of scary. You, it's not exactly like this is like I am uh, cat and mouse with law enforcement. This is like, I'm here. Come get me. You'll never get me, but I'm right here. And I love that he went with, fuck it. Might as well have some fun. Lol. He wanted to get <laughs> Sorry. <cool>. I'm, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry, Matthew, you had something to say there? Yeah, he said he wanted to get caught. Because here's the, I just had this image in my head. I was thinking to myself, you know, this is why, like, you know, career, you know, you know really sadistic people in, in you know, murderers and movies that leave, like, handwritten notes for the police. Because they can still be tracked, but not as easily. But then I had this image in my head of, like, Jack the Ripper trying leaving, like, a Facebook post <laughs> instead, of, instead of leaving uh, the message to the newspapers and whatnot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you know how Jack the Ripper said? Can you imagine, like, the Zodiac Killer puts up a bunch of emojis on Twitter and you have to decipher them? What's happened? We, we take it. Kids these days, they don't work for their crimes anymore. <laughs> they don't understand the true meaning of, of, of intrigue. They, 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 just, they just DM somebody. Fucking kids. No work ethic. Right? Going to the police and yelling YOLO is not going <laughs> to work. Uh, it just turns out that I, I, you know what? Freedom is overrated. I just felt like spending time in a prison cell. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And, you know, it's this is another one. I know there are people out there who keep track of how many. Someone actually went through all my videos and kept track of how many times the same thing keeps happening in these stories. What's the who's got the list? What's the count we have for drugs in the butt? What's what are we up to now on drugs I, in I've, the butts? I've got to assume at least four dozen. <laughs> because now we we have we have a record holder for, we we have a new record holder on this one apparently according to uh, the smoking gun claims new record for hiding bags of heroin suspect pulled out 110 envelopes from anus after collaring a, a suspected drug dealer uh, drug dealer Pol Pennsylvania police recovered 110 bags of heroin from the man's anus. The butt mailman, as they come to call him. <laughs> Heroin's a hell of a drug, man. According to Scranton cops, officers arrest arrested Corey Davis, 32, and another man during an undercover operation. Davis, seen it right, was arrested across the street from the Pennsylvania Paper and Supply Company's Tower, a downtown Scranton landmark seen in the opening credits of the television show The Office. So this is already getting weird. As detailed in a criminal complaint, a confidential informant working with the Lackawanna County Drug T and Task Force arranged a $500 heroin buy. Um, when undercover cops approached the SUV, they spotted an empty heroin packet near the driver's seat. A subsequent search turned up several hypodermic needles. Suspected drug dealers were transported to the Scranton Police Headquarters, where Davis reportedly admitted that, quote, he had heroin inside of his anus. I don't think he said it that way, honestly. I, I don't think that, that, that it, he's been arrested and going, Your heroin in my butt? Yes, pardon me, officers. D d terribly sorry. I happen to have a large quantity of heroin in my anus. I say, old chap, I don't suppose you have something to just lodge this, would you? <laughs> Jolly good. You are rather wedged right up in the anal cavity. Yes, just, just my, oh, my entire rectum is full of, of heroin. Top I love, notch. I love how we're doing these, these terrible British impersonations right in front of us. <laughs> right in front of an actual <laughs> person who's actually from the UK. We're, oh, tell this sorry, my rectum is just, just crammed totally full of, of heroin. Top notch opium. Right in my rectal cavity. Hey, what? No, no, he was like, I got heroin in my butt. 
<laughs> oh. I do believe there is a bit of uh, bit of hair in the pots. Davis then willingly removed 110 packets of heroin from his anus. The heroin was packed in packaged in two bricks and one bundle. So he got them in individual bits of heroin and then formed them together into a brick, which he put up his butt. You just gotta wonder, considering how much there er, there was in there, at what point he decided, you know, screw it, I'm gonna admit this to the cops. <laughs> well, you know, he's standing there. After a while, you got heroin in your butt in a brick. You got a brick in your butt. You gotta be going. There's no percentage in this, um, guys. Can I get the heroin up a butt, please? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just imagining. Just like he got, he, he was transported from from you know from the vehicle to the police station. Probably stood there for a while. You just got to imagine, like, like just like, like, like it, it, what was his end game here if he hadn't been caught? I'm just, ima I'm just thinking of the bleakness of the moment that he decides to shove not one but two of these giant bricks up somewhere they really didn't want to go. <laughs> what, like the back of a Volkswagen? <laughs> Um, just like just like standing there. Yep, this may have been a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I should not have dropped out of community college. I have made some bad life choices. And, oh, and, and of course, <laughs> and of course, everyone in the channel is going shitting bricks. Yes, <laughs> yes, of course, shitting bricks. I mean, it's when part of your job involves. Putting potentially deadly, I mean, if those things break, if those things leak, you dead. That, that's how, when part of how you earn a living involves putting things inside of your butt that could murder you. At what point do you go, maybe this is not a good line of work for me. I, I should rethink some things. It says here that 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 you know that uh, the search of the vehicle turned up several hypodermic needles and additional empty heroin packets. So I just got to think to myself: at one point, did he like look at the hypodermic needle and think, "Should I put this up there too?" <laughs> no, this is probably a bad idea. <laughs> this is one of those things where people always try to tell kids drugs are bad. You should tell them, "Look, kids, don't do drugs because if you do drugs, you'll think it's a good idea to shove a brick of heroin up your butt." Or at the very least, you can tell them, don't do drugs. This was probably in someone's butt. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, do, do you want to put butt drugs in, in you? Don't, don't. Hey, kids, it's, it's some butt candy. Yeah, don't. It's butt drugs. It's not good. <laughs> and finally tonight. Oh. This is. Oh. What you got, Nash? <laughs> this is what, all right, this is, gentlemen, everyone watching, take one leg and put it over the other. I'm already doing that, so yeah, I'm just going to do this. And just oh, dear. brace yourselves, gentlemen. This comes to us from China, and, and this makes it even worse for this poor bastard. It was live on the internet video, <laughs> which I'm not going to show. Man in China has his penis trapped in wedding band for two days. That's not the ring finger. 18-year-old <laughs> from Luzo, China, had a ring stuck on his penis for two days. After time passed, it became incredibly painful. He called the fire brigade. He was taken to a hospital where firefighters used tools to cut the ring off. That's the wrong kind of Prince Albert. You're doing it wrong. Yeah, that's that's not how that, no. <laughs> yeah. Eye-watering images have captured the moment firefighters attempted to free a man after his penis became trapped in a wedding ring. 18-year-old had his penis stuck in the ring for two days before the pain became so unbearable he called emergency services for help. Okay. Pause. <laughs> I have questions. I have many questions. First, how long 
was what was he thinking there was some sort of home remedy? Was he just like got this thing stuck on the, his engorged member and trying to think of baseball and naked grandma and just praying this would go away? I'm wondering why he, why he has the ring on there in the first place. Did he take the wrong meaning of you know? Oh, and you should consummate the damn thing. <laughs> no, that's that doesn't go there. And a lot of other people are pointing out, how did it fit? <laughs> because you've got two, you've got a twofer here. For one, you had a room full of firefighters having to play with your penis without, you know, that being a thing for you. Because if that's a thing for you, good, good on you. Have fun. But if that's not like exactly what you were shooting for, that's probably a big disappointment. So there's number one. Number two, now the entire world knows. Your dick will fit in a wedding ring. Well, technically, it doesn't quite fit because, obvi because obviously, there's a reason why it was uncomfortable. Well, no, he got that it on being there. Said, that being said. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Um, even, let's be generous here. Even this, this, this. Yeah, because no, it's, no, it's, uh, yeah, that, that. At the very bottom of the article, it's unclear what made him want to put the ring on his penis. I would like to get married to my cock. <laughs> <laughs> it's always been loyal and faithful. <laughs> Look, I was trying to create a makeshift condom. I was going to tape the, the, the plastic bag to the edge of the ring. It was the only ring I had. Don't judge me! <laughs> Is it just you see a hole and you have to try to fuck it? Is that thing? Because I don't remember being quite like that at 18. I was pretty bad because, you know, I was 18 when you're 18. But I don't ever remember thinking, you know what? I, I bet I could put my dick in there somehow. Were you having an affair and you th and you wanted to hide your wedding ring, but you couldn't think of any place to put it that would be safe. So you're like, well, that's... <laughs> Coming soon, the new romantic comedy. <laughs> I, it just, and ha two days, he, he, he's, he held up. He's like, this was, this is the epitome of that dog in the burning house meme. This is fine. Did he, did he, did he take some Viagra at some point? This is fine. At some point, I mean, I mean, it says in the article that it was too swollen to get it off at first, which, 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 which implies to me that he was erect during this entire two-day period. Well, yeah, well, here, now I get to explain this in electrical engineering terms. Do you know what a diode is? I know of Nobody? it. Okay, a diode is an electrical device that allows electrical current to pass one way, but not the other. So electrical current can go through a diode in one direction to prevent feedback along different lines. I don't know where this is going. <laughs> think of the cock ring, or think of the ring in this case, as a diode. Blood got in, it couldn't get out. So it's sort of like a... So whether he wanted to be hard or not, he was at, he was attaining full wood, like, teak. That, that, explain, that explains it. Mahogany. He had constricted... <laughs> The uh, oak, alder, swamp ash. He was th th all of the woods. <laughs> see, see, I, I, I feel both pity and and the need to ridicule him for this, yes. be just because we understand how painful that, that probably was, and yet at the same time, as the title of your show goes, Nash. The fuck. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why would you think this was a good idea? You, he did this to himself. It's not like someone held a gun to his head and said, you better put your dick in this. A very specific mm. fetish if they did. <laughs> and, then he, and then he spent two days going, mm, this is not a problem. No one can see this. It'll be fine. Mm. I'll be fine. It'll go away. Just... I'm a man, I can handle it. He's just sitting there going, naked grandma, naked grandma, naked grandma. It's not going to, naked grandma, naked grandma. Fuck! Margaret Thatcher on a cold day. Margaret Thatcher on a cold day. Margaret Thatcher on a cold day. <laughs> it's not working. Oh, the port. Oh, it's just.
It my uh, I mean <laughs> Someone in the channel went, Dick Diode is my electric light orchestra cover band. <laughs> I just explained a priapism in electrical engineering terms. I am fucking amazing. That's the kind of content you don't get from other YouTubers. There you go. I I just that that is we are filling all the niches. You learned something tonight, kids. You learned electrical engineering and why you shouldn't stick your dick in a wedding ring, even if you can't, you know, because don't, don't, don't. I mean, for fuck's sake, couldn't you find a sock? That's how they get, that's how they should get the kids into electrical engineering. Just explain it in relation to penises. Matthew, did you, did you expect this to, to be the thing that happened to you, the thing you got to see and learn about while you were on your vacation? <laughs> so many magical experiences. Now, guys, gentlemen, now whenever anyone says the word diode, you'll immediately think of a dick stuck in a wedding ring. I hate you, Nash. <laughs> in fact, if someone ever says, what's a diode? You'll be able to say, well, imagine a wedding ring with a dick stuck in it. <laughs> I just go from there. It's it's magical. <laughs> so yeah, the first thing we learned this week is not every hole needs to have your penis in it. It's you got to be a little more discretionary about the holes. Just be, holes have their purposes. Yeah, be discriminating. When you, when you put your you, you have to think it through. We maybe maybe he thought you know he's with his girlfriend probably had some lube on hand. Maybe he thought it could it could get it off. You know I I, I would go with you there, Lewis, but you use the word thought, and I don't think that happened. Good point. Anymore. Good yeah. point. Sorry, I w I withdraw my statement. We learned if your job involved putting bricks of anything, <laughs> particularly lethal poisons, in your butt. Maybe you should go on down to Job Corps, get some retraining, because that's not a good job you have. No. <clears throat> We've learned that um, taunting the police could potentially work for criminals. Taunting police on an easily traceable internet s system. No, they'll they're 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 gonna find you. They're gonna find you. Um. We've learned that sometimes you need to put the, the, don't involve your crushes in weird fetish stuff and with don't don't involve other people. Don't bring them in there. There's some lines and boundaries. If you can't ask them out yourself, don't pull them in. Don't and don't give the creepy people who want to do this access to it because you know we let, let's let's not forget the people who designed this website and software mm. although we also learned that if your fetish is fucking greedo there is a website that will enable this um we've learned that trying to invoke clowns to get out of work you're right if, if you want to lie go big or go home just when you bring the police in, you're not going to have a job anymore because you're going to jail. They, they can find this stuff out. And you know, it's, just, it's just the clowns get such a bad rap. This is why clown-based stereotypes are such a problem. <laughs> and finally, we've learned... <laughs> whenever, apparently, whenever God tells people to do stuff in, in the modern era, he's kind of an asshole. Whenever God tells someone to do something these days, it's always getting naked. Hey, hey, Gabriel. Bet I could get this guy guy I had to go naked down a highway. God, could, could you could you could you knock it off? It's getting No, no, old. man. Trust me on this. It's gonna be hilarious. It's it's God. Come on. Come on. This is like the third time this week. So you know, God is apparently that asshole frat boy who 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 you who, who you tolerate but wish he didn't hang out with you as often. <laughs> So, so, so God is, is Belushi?